Did you know that Linux can stream audio over the network? With a built-in option with almost nothing to install. Well, apparently it can, and that's what we're just about to see. So the underlying software tool that most of the major distros use to handle sound is Pulse Audio. It works great, and with most of the distros, no configuration is needed. Pulse Audio recognizes your hardware and sends the audio to this hardware whenever needed. Now, Pulse Audio has this really nice feature that not everyone is aware of, and it allows you, instead of using the audio hardware that is attached to the local computer, to use the hardware on a remote one, as long as the remote computer uses Pulse Audio as well. So on the left tab, I have my local terminal, and in the right tab, I'm connected to my other computer via SSH. Let's start by playing an audio file on the remote computer. And we can hear it playing. It's not very loud because it's playing on my second computer, which is far, far away. Well, actually, it's about here, but you cannot see it, so let's say that it's far, far away. Now, I have a copy of this MP3 file on this computer, and I want to play it on this computer. But I want the sound itself to be played on the remote computer. So we should hear just what we heard now. First, let's set up the remote computer as a Pulse Audio server. In the Pulse Audio terminology, it's called Sync. And since I'm going to use a tool with graphical interface, the terminal won't cut it, so let's move over to the other computer. Okay, I am on the other computer, and we need a tool called PA Prefs which is short for Pulse Audio Preferences. This application does have a small issue, let me show you. And as you can see, all of the options are grayed out. So I want to give a big credit to a Reddit post, this one. So thank you very much, Hans Phoebe. And apparently some Pulse Audio folders were renamed in the recent versions of some distros. But PA Prefs still looks for the old name. So we're going to create a symbolic link between the name that it looks for and the actual folder. So to know what's the name of the actual folder, I'm going to look for Pulse Audio related folders in the lib folder. And we can see that in my computer, the folder is 13.99.2. Now, in your computer, it might be a bit different, but trying the ls command, like I just did, will give you the correct name. Let's now create the symbolic link. And it's a folder, so a soft link. And then the name that PA Prefs actually looks for. And if we run ls again, We now have the symbolic link in addition to the actual folder. And now PI prefs will function properly. Now, this computer will serve as the server. In other words, this is the computer whose speaker will actually generate the sound. So unsurprisingly, we're interested in the network server tab. And I'm going to check the three first boxes. Enable network access, allow other machines to discover, and don't require authentication. Now, to be on the safe side, I'm going to reboot this computer. Maybe restarting a service is enough, but I'll reboot it anyway. And we're back at the first computer, which will be the Pulse Audio client. So we start by installing PA Prefs on this computer as well. And once again, I'm going to create the symbolic link for PA Prefs to function properly. All right, that's done. Let's open PA Prefs. And since this is the client, I want it to discover Pulse Audio network devices. So let's check the first box. And I'll now restart this computer as well. And I'm back. All that's left is ask Pulse Audio to send all of the audio from this computer to the new sync. That's the other computer we defined as a server. The GNOME version of Ubuntu doesn't have such a tool built in, so let's install one, and I'll go with Pavu Control. 
Let's start it. And right away, we can see the remote computer on the list of the output devices. I'll select it by clicking on its check mark. And when I play a sound file on this local computer, the file is played on the local computer, but the audio is streamed over the network to the remote computer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.